Well, I don't know should I be making this uh, video or not, but uh, but I thought I needed to make keep on top of all these sort of problems we're getting. Um, a latest problem arise that is extremely upsetting, and uh, my wife is starting to, you know, we're getting to the point where she's self harming herself, and uh, I don't know what to do, and uh, phone her doctor up asked advice of what can I do and can I bring her up to the surgery and he says no to take her to St Anne's Hospital Emergency that is that is a a nutty hospital you know there's nothing wrong mentally with my wife but um, but uh, then I said and she refuses to go anywhere and uh, I asked can uh, what can I do you know can she really see her they said there's no use of bringing her up to surgery there's nothing he can do for her if she refuses to go to St. Anne to call the police out to deal with the situation. So I'm left in a situation is how can I call the police out to take my wife away? You know, the thing is, you know, that she's received horrible injuries. She's had no treatment for the mental stress that she's going through. And it just is to me like how can I actually call the police out to come and take my wife away you know it, it is absolutely mad my wife has never ever harmed herself this is the first time she's ever done anything of the kind normally she's a very joyful and happy person and the whole scenario has pushed us into the red basically uh, you know both of us are not working I've lost my I had to close my business because I couldn't keep it going any longer. That's how much sort of the work I do. And uh, financially, they've you know we're basically drifting into the red, and we can't afford nothing. Basically, you know that once upon a time was nothing to us. You know we have to living on a whatever there's left of a life insurance policy, and. Um, like my accountant, I haven't done nothing. I just needed him to just do the accounts to say that I haven't. I've closed my business, and he still says he needs, you know, to to either go to the tax office and deal with it myself. You know, like he's done dealt with it for many many years. But uh, he's a very strong businessman, and um, or the accounts will still be even though I've got nothing. <laughs> Them turn over nothing. He still stay. It's still going to be over three hundred odd plus fat to do the count. So we've got all that worries. But thank God he said to me, I don't have to panic till January. So, but I thought he needed to be in by September. But uh, well he said not to worry to it to January. At least that stresses off me for a few months. And but my biggest worry now is how can I handle my situation that is moved into a new dimension with my wife harming herself you know and uh, it's it's all getting you know mad here and, uh, and, and it's I feel like this stress that I you know is bad enough having to account to all the the pain and the injuries that she received and we're into a new dimension now which is a suffering stress you know a mental stress of hardship you know it's just beyond it's beyond belief you know to think that how could you you know be injured by walking into a store and you can be you know living in in hell for four and a half years and you know push the injured party with a hemorrhoid injury and spinal injury to the ex extent where for the first time I've ever known my wife to start to self-harm herself because of our stressful situation this is all has been an extremely frightening experience for me I've never had to ever succumb this in my life and uh, scream my head off I just can't believe that she's doing this to me you know I just I'm absolutely numb you know and um, can't believe that she's done it you know it's just it's just frightening it's it's extremely frightening I, I, I'm just I've screamed my, my, I think the whole 
neighbours bloody ten doors away could hear me, but I just can't believe this. This is just too frightening to be true.